Hello everyone. I created a simple console game in Python. It's called CatchDX. It has two files, a game.py and a grid.py. So first let me show you the game and then I'm going through the code and explain it a little bit how it works. So in order to run this game, here is the, is the game and here is the grid.py. You will need to open a CMD window. And let's make it a little bit bigger. And just run the Python and game.py. And it creates this board or this grid. And with this U, you need to catch the falling X. These X are randomly appearing here in the upper side of the of the game window or the game board and here it shows how many eight eggs were caged so eight and here it shows how many eggs were lost so 23 or 26 now so it is a very simple game i always wanted to try out how to create something like this using just uh, simple console and with the escape key you can just uh, exit the game and it also works with powershell so let me show you powershell and let's run the python and game.py and So if you wanna create something like this, of course I'm going. I'm already uploaded the code to GitHub, so you can check this out if you want to create something similar. Let's say a Tetris game on console, and let's catch this last egg and press the escape key, and it just exits the game, and of course it. It shows you how many eggs were caged, so 8 eggs, and how many edge eggs were lost, so 20 eggs. And now let's go through a little bit on the code, how it works. So, unfortunately, this uh, game works only on Windows, so if you are using Linux or OS X, uh, it won't work for you, because it uses this MSVCRT module, which is only available on Windows. So let me go to the MSVCRT documentation and here it says that these functions provide access to some useful capabilities on Windows platforms. And from, from this MSVCRT I'm using it for reading the keyboard input and I'm using these two functions which is the MSVCRT.kbit which returns true if a key press is waiting to be read. So let's go back. And here I have a game loop function. And this function has a while true, so an infinite loop. And uh, each iteration, is, it just checks for this msvcrt.k bit. So if every uh, key was pressed or not. And on the next line, I'm, I'm getting which character was pressed using the msvcrt.getch function. And the getch function, here it is. It reads a key press and returns the resulting character. Nothing is echoed to the console. And this is a blocking command, so here it says that this call will block if a key press is not already available. So that's why I put it inside this uh, if statement, so that it won't uh, block the application if I, if I don't uh, press a key. I also added here this command. This is a block without the msvcrt.k bit. And it reads the characters. So if character equals 27, which is the key code for the escape key, then it breaks the while loop. And elif, the character is 
97, which is the A key on your keyboard, then the X uh, gets um, um, the value of X is decreased by one, and uh, Elif the character is 100, which is the D key, then the value of X is um, is increased. So here is decreased by one, and here is uh, uh, increased. And here I'm checking for the horizontal bounds of the grid or the board. And here I'm setting the player position and also setting on the grid with the set cell method to the character U. And here I'm calling the grid.update which will update the X. And here just draw the grid. And after each iteration I'm just adding a little bit of sleep time, so 0 0.1 seconds which is 1 over 10 or 100 milliseconds. And if you go to the grid, the grid has a class of grid and it has a width and a height. And here I'm just adding some member variables like the self.grid and the player x, player y, set the player position. I'm adding a timer for, for, for the x and also the cell that catched which just holds how many eggs were catched and uh, the cell that lost which uh, this variable holds how many eggs were lost and it has a create method which creates the board the game board and the axes are the walls and the dots are the playing area so in here i'm calling this self.create method which just creates the grid And here is the draw method. It goes through the grid row by row and reads the characters and just uh, just draws the board. Here is also the update which has a timer and if the timer is less than zero it randomly generates x between one and the screen or the board width minus two. And also, it just gener generates a random time, so between 1 and 5. And also, cause the move x uh, method. The clear uh, calls the, from the OS model system, it just calls the CLS, um, CLS command. So if you go back to here, let's say, and uh, it always just uh, clears the screen after each iteration, so it just does this, so calls a CLS, and with the CLS, it, uh, as you can see, it absolutely clears out the screen uh, in, the, in the CMD and also in the, in the PowerShell as well, so CLS, and it cl clears the PowerShell window. So it has also set player position and a get player position, set a cell, uh, a get a cell, it checks for horizontal bounds and it also checks for vertical bounds. So if the egg uh, reaches the bottom of the playing area or the bottom of the board, uh, this returns true. Here is the add eggs, which just uh, adds uh, an egg, so it appends an O to the grid and also the move X. So here is the code in my GitHub page in my mini games repository. You catch the X. So if you want to try this out at home, you can download it. But as I said, uh, it works only on Windows. So if you are using Linux or OS X, Unfortunately, it won't work. Uh, maybe you can replace this MSVCRT model with probably it exists something like this for also for Linux and also for OS X. Just uh, Google it. So this was a small little project I always wanted to create, and 
in this in this series, so the Python minigame series, I'm go next. I'm going to show you my uh, probably I'm going to show you my um, Minesweeper clone, which uses uh, Pi game. So until then, uh, thanks for watching, and of course have a nice day.